So uh, I just uh, want to say that we were discussing different birth control methods, which are uh, very like very helpful in control of population explosion. So uh, for these procedures, we uh, discussed yesterday about the different surgical methods. As you asked me to elaborate once again about the IUCD, let me tell you IUCD full form is intrauterine contraceptive device. How this function? This actually uh, function in various steps. What are these various steps? First step is it doesn't allow the sperm to enter into the fallopian tubule, thus preventing the fertilization process. Second situation is if the sperm by some means enter into fallopian tubule and able to fertilize the egg, the embryo stage cannot pass through this IUCD and it cannot uh, enter into the uterus and get implanted. And even if it is implanted, IUCD ensures that the implantation is not proper and the embryo cannot grow inside the uterus. So these are three course of protection by which it is ensured by IUCD that pregnancy does not sustain. Various types of IUCD is available. It, it may be available in the form of single big loop ring. It may be in the form of a bow which fits into the upper part of uterus or it may be in the form of spiral rings or spring-like structures which may fit in the upper part of uterus and prevent the flow of embryo or sperm. Understood? Yes, ma'am. So today basically we are going to discuss about uh, chemical methods of the chemical methods of birth control. Okay. So let us have a look at how birth control measures can be performed chemical. So in this regard, I would like to mention here that chemical methods can be further bifurcated into two parts. One is by spermicidal gels. And other is by hormonal methods. Okay. So, how these spermicidal gels, they actually uh, like work. Spermicidals means something that kills sperm. Commercially, they may be available in the form of cream or in the form of jelly. They may be in the form of tablets also. Now, these creams, jellies or tablets need to be inserted into the female reproductive part and once sperms are entering, uh, it will kill the sperm. Or it need to be uh, 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 rubbed around the penis so that sperms, whenever it, there is ejaculation, it can kill the sperm. So what actually is the composition of all these spermicidal chemicals? They have lactic acid. Boric acid. And apart from that, they may have cyclic acid. Zinc sulfate. Or they may have k Now why? We have limited uh, options if as far as permissible effects are concerned. Because, beta, uh, here the chemicals 
which need to kill the sperm should not have any side effect for the female reproductive system to also hai na beta so we need to be very careful that spermicidal chemicals that is used should have zero effect on the female reproductive system or uh, must not have much effect on the uh, uh, male reproductive system too so basically example of such spermicidal one is which is very famous is sponge so what is this sponge basically it is a foam tablet tablet which has a foam like structure have you ever seen foams it must be available in the sofa or uh, the uh, like uh, uh, what i can say the mattresses that is available in our houses have you ever seen foam have sponge like structure yes ma'am ah so it is basically sponge is nothing but a foam tablet in which there is a uh like uh, what i can say chemical which is known as nanoxanol let me write down the spelling so basically sponge is having okay so basically how it kills the sperm it actually breaks down the membrane of the sperm and it kills sperms that way so so how it is used basically before the intercourse it needs to be inserted into the vaginal region so at the time of intercourse even if any kind of sperm is released that can be immediately stopped by this foam understood everyone yes no yes ma'am okay so apart from this two options are there in case of this pomicidal one is application of various gels and second is foam tablet called sponge now we will have a look into the hormonal methods of birth control okay so let us have a small review of spermicidals here we will write that foam gel cream slash tablets and there is sponge let us now talk about the different hormonal methods so what are different hormonal methods first of all there can be first thing that is injection or implant of progesterone it generally able to give one 3 to 4 years of prevention against pregnancy Uh, these implants are uh, like uh, needs to be implanted into the reproductive system of female and by means of that one can have prevention against the pregnancy okay next method is drugs so what are these drugs these drugs are used as uh, like uh, as a uh, oral contraceptive pill ocp or oral contraceptive pill now uh, how these drugs actually work 
they either prevent the ovulation or prevent the implantation they work in two ways they either stop the uh, like uh, implantation of the embryo in the uterus or they stop the ovulation itself so unless and until there is ovulation obviously no egg will be there so no sperm can go and uh, fertilize so basically the hormones used for prevention of ovulation has high amount of or required amount of rather to say fsh and lh so these two hormones are present in the pill they prevent the implantation uh, the, sorry the ovulation of eggs understood now let us have a look into different types of oral contraceptive pills available in the market one of the most renowned oral contraceptive pill that is available in the market is known as saheli saheli so what is so special about saheli this is have mini dose of progesterone which ensures that implantation is prevent okay apart from saheli there are combined pills available in market so what are these combined pills they have shots of progesterone plus estrogen both of them are there they have estrogen as well as progesterone okay apart from that there is a third type of pill that is available in the market which is known as emergency contraceptive pills uh previously the uh, like uh, too much frequent ads of uh, this emergency zensi contraceptive pill was visible in the television but uh, like it later on it was find found out that uh, it has too many uh, like side effects basically uh, it has a chemical called mif it prevents the implantation of uh, embryo into the uterus so if anyone uh, think that uh, during the intercourse successful fusion of uh, male and female gamete is done within the 72 hours of intercourse if this medicine is taken up then even if there is formation of zygote or embryo the dry the embryo cannot uh, get attached to the uterus before that that embryo is destroyed okay so that's all about hormonal method anyone any doubt regarding hormonal methods siddhant do you have any doubt beta prachi no ma'am no ma'am okay so uh, anyone else any doubt yesha priyanshi mahi krishan kosha kashish no ma'am okay. no ma'am so we will move ahead let me jot down the points
of this so here hormonal methods are having three aspects one of them is one of them is injection and implantation once again i am repeating second method is known as oral contraceptive pill and third method is known as emergency contraceptive okay now let us talk more about the procedure of sterilization sterilization means removal of gonad obviously if the primary reproductive system of male or female is removed that is testis or ovary a person will definitely be sterilized that means the person will not be able to reproduce but do you think it is a preferable method one should go should go for this method tell me koi apne wish se to nahi karwayega na obviously koi apne wish se nahi karwayega but in specialized cases where there are chances of cervical cancers testicular cancer or some other disease they remove this parts and uh, then uh, obviously lot many other complications may be associated with this removal of gonads but it's obviously the ultimate method but it's not the preferable method for the persons it should not be opted as a method of emergency or by any means a method of contraception okay so we will move ahead for the next method that is barrier method now barrier method can be further subdivided into various types of methods these methods are as follows wide umbrella of barrier method is visible they are known as male condoms female condoms then diaphragm and last but not least cervical caps so let us find out about each one of them male com condoms are prepared by generally latex or rubbery material which are uh, like uh, uh, wrapping the penis in a way that uh, during intercourse if a male is wearing this special barrier then the ejaculation will fall inside the barrier itself it will not get any option to get in direct contact with the vagina consider this is the penis of a male this barrier or condom is covering the penis like this 
so whenever there is ejaculation by the penis that will be covered up or that will be remaining inside the barrier so whenever penis is inject injected into the vagina vagina will ne never get direct contact of the sperm so that is one way by which uh, birth control is possible let us talk about the second method that is female condoms what are female condoms these are le less less frequently discussed about generally they are made up of polyurethrin so they are polyurethrin loose sheet and they have two rings so what are the role of these two rings so these two rings are located on either side of the sheath so what happens is uh, it can be used more than once example of such female condom is fame shield this is a commercial name of the female condom called fame shield so fame shield is a female condom which can be used by females now how it exactly uh, like work it exactly actually consider the situation vaginal uh, opening is there with two rings and a membrane like structure it is covering the vaginal opening in a way that uh, sperms cannot penetrate into through the vagina so that is all about female condom now let us know what is the speciality of diaphragm basically diaphragm also is uh, made up of uh, like uh, rubber only because elasticity is something which makes uh, these devices comfortable for the user so it is a small uh saucer shaped rubber what is saucer saucer shaped means mam rakabi ha rakabi chai ke sath jo plate hoti hai it is having shape like that so it is a saucer shaped rubber sheet okay with a metal coil in the ring okay which fit across the mouth of uterus okay so how it is working consider this is the mouth of uterus which is known as cervix here is this ring like structure is present its ring is elastic and it tightly filled fit with the uh uh mouth of uterus and prevent further entry of the sperm to the uterus a specialized type of diaphragm like structure uh, it's very much similar to the diaphragm but has a specialty is known as vault so what is basically vault vault also is having hemisphere like structure uh, unless like uh, diaphragm is uh, a bit thinner 
but the vault is a bit thicker and it has a hemisphere dome shaped structure and even its rim is also very thick so it has similar effect it is present or it is located at the same position like diaphragm and obviously uh, have the same effect that is uh, prohibiting entry of sperms into uterus okay so the difference between vault and diaphragm is clear to you obviously after this we are going to see one video and i will show you individually the picture of each of them so that you know how they look like and how they act okay so uh, i hope it is clear to everyone yes ma'am yes ma'am okay so we will move towards the last one that is cervical cap actually cervical cap was used like uh, many years ago uh, as the name itself is suggesting i don't have to say much it's like a cup shaped structure or dome shaped structure that feed into the cervix region of the uterus okay and uh, the material with which it used to be prepared was very uncomfortable to wear that's why generally uh, people uh, do not prefer it nowadays and this is a discarded concept now so these are all yes beta papa ko dena can you mute yourself please sorry no problem all of us are passing through this during online te teaching and learning process so these are different types of barrier method now let us consider over the the next topic that is barrier method it is one of the most important topic and has its own beneficial point if we consider barrier methods it also has two kind of procedure one is coitus interruptus what do we mean by this word coitus interruptus uh coitus means intercourse that means insertion of penis into vagina and uh, ejaculating the semen that part is known as coitus and second is word that is important here is interruptus so two words are making this combination of word meaningful so what do we mean by this coitus interruptus that means the meaning of this is basically interrupted sex meaning of this is interrupted sex so in this what happens is uh one a person once a person is having sexual intercourse just before ejaculation if a person can control its behavior and remove the penis and ejaculate outside the vagina obviously semen will be drenched outside the vagina and there will be no chances of pregnancy so this simple method without side effect is known as coitus interruptus but it is a behavioral method so depends upon person to person depends upon behavior of person to person and understanding with the partner okay so basically just before ejaculation of semen if penis is removed from vagina then ejaculation will not occur in side vagina and the lady will be relieved from pregnancy okay next method is a very important method and many a times it is followed by many one people that is rhythm of safe or periodic abstinence
so what is this method rhythm of cycle can anyone tell me what are the phases of menstrual cycle who is going to tell me the phases of menstrual cycle i want to hear from you can i expect this time to kosha to speak or kashish nakshatra siddhan prachi prachi can i hear this from you beta you can you tell me what are the phases of menstrual cycle yes the menstrual phase follicular phase ovulatory phase and luteal phase so basically menstrual phase and then there are proliferative phase now uh, the phase when fertilization is possible that phase is known as ovulatory phase because only uh, like during ovulation and post ovulation when the uh, egg is waiting inside fallopian tubule at that time only fertilization is possible so if one can contribute uh, calculate and uh, divide this 24 uh, uh, 28 days of uh, periodic uh, uh, rhythm and can have intercourse during just like we know that up to 1 to 5 days the menstrual phase exists after that the 6 to 13 is known as the proliferative phase so if one person uh, actually go for intercourse during this time to be more safe if one choose for uh, like 6 to 11 days after periodic uh, cycle that is menstrual phase during this time the uterus is not ready for in, uh, implantation and ovulation also is not there so during that time uh, ejaculation of uh, a male inside female vagina is same but this method is having its pros as well as its cons most important thing is pros are that uh, obviously this will be 100% uh, side effect less method but the con is that this menstrual phase is not 1 to 5 days it, it is a range that is 1 to 5 in some people it may last for 3 days in some cases it is 4 days in some cases it is 5 days so it varies from person to person and as it varies from person to person obviously the during this method the uh, calculation also will vary and every time for a lady it's not 100% sure that the periodic cycle will be con con uh, like uh, circling within 28 days it may be 30 days it may be 27 days so if one person is very good at calculation and can follow this this is the safest method because it doesn't have any kind of side effect understood everyone rhythm of sex or periodic abstinence yes ma'am okay so now let us talk about another method it is actually a natural birth control method provided by uh, nature we don't do it it is done so let us have a look into what is that natural birth control method so uh, the natural birth control method that is possible is known as lactational amnorrhea
what is this after the birth of child uh, like uh, you can understand that the child is born and uh, it like uh, it was uh, attached to the uterus so mother's uterus from mother's uterus the whole thing is ripped and came out okay so you can understand that how difficult it must be for the mother's uterus so it require uh, like lot of time to get recovered and that is why scientifically and by healthier means it is required to have a gap between the two children immediately after the birth of first children a child one should not plan for the second child there should be a gap that gap is required because mother's uh, body requires some kind of rest of bearing the child when the child is present inside mother's body lot many things occur with the body of the mother you can understand there are full of hormone which is flushing here and there inside the mother's body apart from that there will be uh, like uh, various other methods uh, like uh, for example if during the growth of child child size is increasing so uterus is expanding so as uterus is expanding it is pushing other internal organs inside especially the digestive system is pushed a bit so due to this push a mother is often goes for indigestion and other practices obviously during movement she needs to be extra careful child itself is uh, shifting its position and kicking inside the mother womb so mother require a break between two pregnancy this break naturally is ensured by the method called lactational amnorrhea what is this method immediately after pregnancy once the child is removed mother can have bleeding but that bleeding is not actually menstrual cycle that bleeding is uh, like occurring due, uh, during that procedure whatever garbage or uh, let us say extended parts present inside uterus which is not cleaned properly by surgical method are flushing out in terms of blood from mother's reproductive system once this bleeding is stopped and mother to so obviously after the child birth immediately try and uh, like to feed the uh, child during the time mother is feeding the child the breast milk mother is not able to conceive ovulation stops during this period that is what is known as lactational amenorrhea so lactational amenorrhea is the naturally induced method to prevent consecutive pregnancy so till the time mother is feeding the child the milk such mother will be not able to ovulate now this period is not actually fixed generally uh, it is uh, depending from person to person and depending on the intensity of the breast feeding this is divided decided the lactational amenorrhea is decided accordingly clear to everyone yes ma'am so uh, that's all about birth control method so after this we are going to have a look into the different uh, methods that is described in to your textbook let's have a look into the part of textbook which describe this
So here also you can see a few photographs. This is the male condom. This is how male condoms look like. This is how copper tea looks like. You can see, see that due to T-shaped structure of this uh, copper tea is uh, known as one of the most important uh, tool for uh, contraception. Yes, Peta, can you repeat please? I'm not able to hear you. Can you repeat, please? Am I audible to all of you? Yes, yes ma'am. Yes, ma so someone was saying something. Can you repeat what you were saying? No one want to say yes, no. Can I get some response? No, ma'am. Okay. So they mentioned here, here about intrauterine devices and intrauterine con contraceptive devices. These are implants. Implants are full of testosterone. And uh, uh, they are actually uh, responsible for uh, different types of uh, implication by which the ovulation is controlled. Okay, so uh, can we now have a look into the video about hormonal control of menstrual cycle. We had a look into hormonal control of menstrual cycle video that I showed you. No, ma'am. So we will first have a look into the hormonal control into menstrual cycle video so that you understand that what are the roles of hormone uh, to control the menstrual cycle and based on that how these oral contraceptive pills are designed. Then we will have a look into the video for uh, different types of uh, contraceptive methods that is available around us and what are the pros and cons of each and every contraceptive method that we are going to discuss. Wait for a minute, I will share the screen.
yes the screen is visible clearly and the video is audible to you the men's yes ma'am yes, ma isn't it okay now you have a look into it and uh, let me know if you have any doubt menstrual cycle is a term used to describe monthly events that occur within a woman's body in preparation for the possibility of pregnancy each month an egg is released from an ovary in a process called ovulation at the same time the lining of the uterus thickens ready for pregnancy if fertilization does not take place the lining of the uterus is shed in menstrual bleeding and the cycle starts over an ovary contains hundreds of thousands of primary oocytes immature eggs or ova each of these is enclosed in a structure called a follicle and at this stage a primordial follicle the menstrual cycle is under control of hormones secreted by the pituitary gland and the ovaries the pituitary gland itself is under control of the hypothalamus the hypothalamus produces a hormone called the gonadotropin releasing hormone or GnRH GnRH stimulates the anterior lobe of the pituitary to secrete follicle stimulating hormone FSH FSH travels in the bloodstream to the ovaries and stimulates a group of follicles to grow These primordial follicles develop into primary follicles and then secondary follicles These produce a hormone named estrogen which acts to stimulate the growth of the endometrium, the inner lining of the uterus. The secondary follicles compete with each other and only one of them will survive and become a mature follicle. The rest atrophy and die. The increasing level of estrogen also acts on the hypothalamus and the anterior pituitary to increase the level of GnRH and induce the production of another hormone, luteinizing hormone. LH A surge in LH secretion triggers ovulation the release of the egg from the follicle and the ovary the egg is then swept up by the fimbriae and taken into the uterine tube fertilization by a spermatozoon when it occurs usually takes place in the ampulla the widest section of the fallopian tube the fertilized egg immediately begins the process of development while traveling towards the uterus after 6 days it becomes a blastocyst and is implanted into the endometrium of the uterus meanwhile the leftover of the ruptured follicle has become a corpus luteum which secretes progesterone progesterone further stimulates uterine development making it a nutritious bed for the embryo in the event of pregnancy in the absence of pregnancy the corpus luteum atrophies and progesterone levels fall this leads to the breakdown of the endometrium menstruation begins and the cycle starts over so it's a very uh, brief video by which one can easily understand the concept of uh, menstrual cycle and how impactful it is for a hormone to uh, control it is it clear to everyone can we have a look into the different methods of con contraception now okay so uh, let us talk about different methods of contraception first we will have a look into the structures i told you i will show you first the structures of different contraceptive devices and a comparison of the percentage of efficiency of different contraceptive devices okay so uh, what are these we connect grammarly helping you connect go to grammarly.com and download today
so is the screen visible clearly mam it's not that clear so let me see if it it will be more clear wait for a moment is it clear now is the image clear now clearly visible to everyone mom still not clear yes mom i don't know why because uh, so something which should be clear because now it is part of my system anyways let's let me describe uh anyways we are going to see the video so uh, it will help you just to you have a idea about the shape that how it is done can you see the shapes yes ma'am so this is like uh, pin like structures uh, you can see in this chart it is very nicely described based on the effectiveness of the uh, contraceptive method so if you go from this to this you can under see that what are the methods which are least effective and what are the methods which are more effective so effective uh, like uh, uh, how they decided that which method is more effective or uh, like uh, least effective it is described on the basis of uninterested pregnancies or unintended pregnancies faced by the people who followed this method out of this uh, the one which is most uh, like uh, least effective one of the most least effective method is uh, fertility awareness pet method that is the uh, periodic abstinence we had a talk about periodic abstinence i told you that if one can do it 100% with 100% accuracy it is one of the best method but it is very very difficult for one to calculate it accurately second is spermicidal gels spermicidal gels kill sperm but sperms when injected into the uh, uh, reproductive system of female they are in n number that means they are in high number so it's not ensured that all sperms are killed by this spermicide so some of them may survive and they may cause pregnancy second is male condom its effectiveness uh, like uh, is or uh, more than obviously periodic abstinence method or spermicide it is better than uh, other but in case of all these methods there are problem of rupturing in case of male condom as well as in case of female condom if by any means it is defective there is some kind of pore or during the procedure of reproduction if it ruptures then the uh, sperm will leak and it may a, child, a person may get pregnant next method is withdrawal method by withdrawal method it is not always observed that just at the peak of ejaculation one may not be accurate some amount of semen may be dropped into the vagina and one can get pregnant uh um, next is sponge sponge look like this you can see a person is holding it into the hand and uh, uh, while a person is holding it into the hand uh, it can be inserted into the vagina before intercourse and uh, in this case the um, accuracy level is not that much uh, because inaccuracy level is 24% if one is injecting projected progesterone or using pills you can see inaccuracy is 
less in these cases because in this case it is uh, ensured that the uh, the uh, ovulation is not there or even implantation is not there so even if sperms are getting inside or not that will not happen even if the male condom female condom and diaphragm ring all of them are having similar structure but then also as these are inserted uh, inside the uterus that's why they gives better uh, like uh, result as compared with male and female condom out of the best methods it is observed said that uh, implant gives best result and intra uterine device like property and others they give best result but obviously implant and property these are like methods which are surgical methods so we need to be very careful in case of iut uh sterilization obviously if vasectomy or uh, pubectomy is done that then to no chance of pregnancy is there so this will be the most accurate method now let us all of us have a look into the video of this some women is is the screen visible and sound is clearly audible to all of you beta yes ma'am so let's have a look into the different contraception methods couples may not want to have a baby or they may prefer to wait until another time There are a number of ways for them to have and enjoy sex without getting pregnant. Let's look at some of the options known as contraception methods. Condoms. Condoms for men are thin rubber tubes that cover the penis. You can buy them at supermarkets and pharmacies. Each condom can only be used once. Female condoms are tubes that can be inserted into the vagina. They're harder to find than male condoms, but you can get them from family planning clinics, some pharmacies, and on the internet. Again, these can only be used once. Condoms help avoid pregnancy by trapping the white fluid containing sperm that comes from the penis during sex, so that it does not touch the inside of the vagina. Be aware that condoms are the only contraceptive method that can also protect you from getting certain infections during sex. Diaphragms. The diaphragm is a cup-shaped device you can get at pharmacies. It sits inside the vagina, covering the opening of the uterus, that is, the womb. Before first use, it is best to have a doctor or nurse check that it is positioned properly. IUD. IUD stands for intrauterine device. There are two types. The hormonal IUD contains a safe chemical called a hormone in a small piece of plastic. It can last for 5 years. The copper IUD contains a piece of copper, a type of metal instead of hormones, and it can last up to twice as long. IUDs are inserted in the uterus and are removed using the string by a specially trained doctor or nurse. Your fertility will quickly return when you remove the IUD. Contraceptive implant. The contraceptive implant is a small soft plastic stick containing a hormone. It is inserted under the skin of your arm by a doctor or nurse and can last for 3 years. Your fertility will quickly return when you remove the implant. Depo injection. The depo injection is a hormone fluid injected into your buttock or arm. It can last for 12 weeks. Contraceptive pills. Contraceptive pills are medications containing hormones which need to be taken every day. There are two types. The combined pill, usually known as the pill, has tablets containing two hormones. The mini pill contains only one hormone. Talk to your doctor about which medication would be the best option for you. 
Your fertility will quickly return when you stop taking the pills. Vaginal ring. The vaginal ring is a small soft ring that contains two hormones. Placed inside the vagina, it can last for three weeks. Your fertility will quickly return when you stop using the vaginal ring. It's important to know that all of these hormonal methods of contraception might change a woman's period and cause side effects, so speak to your doctor. Natural family planning. Natural family planning is where people use calendars or programs to try to guess when they can have sex with a lower chance of pregnancy. This method may not be as reliable as using condoms, hormonal methods or the copper IUD. It's difficult to get it right because everyone is different. So speak to your doctor if you're considering this. Withdrawal method. The withdrawal method is when the penis is taken out of the vagina before the man releases sperm at sexual climax. Even if only a small amount of sperm touches the vagina, it's still possible to get pregnant. Be aware that some sperm can be released before the man climaxes. This method isn't as reliable as using condoms, hormonal contraception or the copper IUD. Emergency contraception. Emergency contraception, sometimes referred to as the morning after pill, is used when you're worried you might get pregnant. The copper IUD can also be used as emergency contraception. You might get pregnant if there is a broken condom, missed or late pills or no contraception used. Speak to your pharmacist, doctor or nurse about options if you find yourself in this situation. The medication can be bought at a pharmacy and needs to be taken as soon as possible if it is to work. That is, within four or five days of having sex. Speak to your doctor about the copper IUD option. Permanent contraception. Permanent contraception is when a man or woman has surgery to make sure that they won't have children in the future. For a man, it involves cutting small tubes inside his body to stop sperm from being discharged during sex. For a woman, it involves clipping in the small tubes in her body to stop eggs moving into her womb. If you think there's a possibility you might want to have babies in the future, these might not be a good option. Be aware that some of the methods in this video are more effective at reducing the chances of pregnancy than others. If you're unsure which is best for you, speak to your doctor. In the meantime, you might like to watch our other videos on how pregnancy begins and what are periods. Uh, I think uh, the video was quite elaborative one and uh, now no one should have any doubt regarding this. What do you suggest? No doubt, ma'am. Anna? So they nicely uh, shared that uh, how like uh, different types of uh, contraception method is used and where it is placed and how it is placed. Okay, so uh, quickly now we will have a discussion about comparative analysis of different contraception methods. Okay, so we observed that contraception methods can have various alternative and in the video also it is uh, said repeated time that depending on the choice of person it is to be decided that which method is more apt for a person. So who can tell me the positive and negative point of surgical methods? What are the pros and cons of surgical method? Anyone? What happened today if people are tired? Ma'am, it can last for a long time. Okay. Uh, first of all, it can last. So, we are talking about positive point first. So, uh, longer time. Effective. Apart from that.
more accurate obviously so we can write here more accurate okay what are the negative points of this surgical method it requires surgery ah uh, that is the worst part it requires surgery so the moment many people hear this word surgery they deny for it na na baba kon jayega so now let's talk about the hormonal method what are the positive points of hormonal methods what do you think will be the positive point of hormonal method yes i am waiting for your answer i have 11 children over here and out of that only one of you are speaking so i want all of you to uh, use your brain and think and come up with the answers can i hear some it's also accurate than others so obviously one of its positive point is accuracy very good and second is ease of using and cons are the negative points are the mam hormonal imbalance in the body yes these are for side effects mam it also does not uh, protect from stds yes so uh, none of them other than the barrier method that is that to Uh, male and female condom protect us from std so you can write that everywhere that it doesn't protect us from std so major concern of hormonal method is uh, side effects because uh, if one is taking it for very long time it has a mature like major uh, health effect on the uh, health of female they may have too many side effects and uh let me tell you we should not never ever go it for it without the prescription of doctor if one person is taking too many emergency contraceptive pill first day also i told you that the person can get uh, sterile for life so that is why we need to be very skeptical about using them and they can be used uh, only after the suggestion of doctor uh next thing is you must have noticed in that uh, like uh, uh, video that <coughs> many of these methods actually can combine to give you a effective method for example copper tea is not only physically uh, stopping the sperms to uh, enter also it is releasing some kind of spermicidal effect which is uh, like uh, uh, killing the sperms sometime iud that is intrauterine devices that is used uh, may have some amount of hormones and they can then prove the, to be a better contraceptive method next is called sterilization positive point of sterilization is Hundred percent accuracy. The negative point is. Infertility cannot come back. Ah, 
So fertility cannot come back. So if one is going for this due to some major complication, they need to be make sure that they cannot be fertile birthing. So what about the barrier method? Protect against STD. So best positive part is most of them, not all of them. Okay, only men and female condom protect us from STDs. What are the other diaphragm, thin shield, vault, and all, all of them, they don't uh, like uh, protect us from the uh, STDs. So uh, protect from STD, we can write. So protect from STDs, okay, anything else, it's comparatively easy to use, isn't it, no side effect, no side effect is there. The negative point, can you suggest any negative point of this? Mom, it is not reversible. Not reversible, fine. That's a not reusable. Ah, that is no, it's all right. It's a negative point is uh, uh, effectivity. Is less pertinent named and less in terms of protection. Not only it is having less effectivity in terms of protection, but also it has a uh, uh, less, uh, what, I, what I can say, uh, it can be effective only up to less time. It doesn't be effective as other methods that is used. Last, we will talk about the behavioral methods. These behavioral methods, what are the positive points? Um, easy and uh, without side effects. Easy to bilkul nahi hai, uh, because you need to be very cautious. Uh, we can say uh, no side effect actually. But the negative point is that it is not reliable. So with this, we are done with the different contraception methods that is available in the market. And that is all about our today's lecture. Anyone, any doubt regarding all these methods? No, ma'am. So tomorrow, uh, we, will, uh, we will study about medical termination of pregnancy, how it is done, why it is done, and what are the consequences if not done correctly. And apart from that, we will study about the sexually transmitted diseases. Clear to all of you? Yes. Any question now? Yes, Any question? Anyone, any question? So should we uh, like uh, end this meeting? Uh, tomorrow at the same time, I hope.
uh, by the time uh, you please revise the portion i taught to you so that uh, when tomorrow we discuss you should be ready with the concepts okay and i humbly request to all students to participate during the discussion some students are really silent i am not able to understand what is the problem associated with them if you are not understanding any part kindly talk to me openly so that i can describe those parts and others can also have a revision keeping quiet will never ever solve the problem but okay so bye to all of you bye 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 ma'am bye bye ma'am